guys, so I'm in Melbourne with Ali and I'm very happy to be here. It's a long, it's been a long time since I have been home. Really because has. I'm originally from Melbourne, which I feel like is obvious, but like then again, might not be obvious. I've been on the Gold Coast for four years. That's true, now. and you probably, oh my God. I'm in Melbourne and I'm really, really excited to be here. It is such a beautiful Melbourne day. So we went to Sable. Sable for bagels which was iconic Al's got not hers to super take home attractive, but oh my god so yum and it's a vegan bagel shop and I've been literally thinking about this place since I was last in Melbourne mm -hmm. a year ago and then as well as that I got this oh. oh my god Nutella vegan Nutella cookie and we also got milkshakes and we got milkshakes like vegan milkshakes that are actually good here's the thing there's nothing like a milkshake and I was mm. saying to Bonnie the other day when you go and you get like one of the, the in the silver oh, tins it or always... you get the one in the thing but they're like here's the leftovers in the silver tin yes yeah that I have so many nostalgic memories of being a kid and like getting the you've milkshake. been at the beach all day you're a bit sandy and salty and you get a milkshake yes oh. Wait, I have a question. Have you ever had a jelly slice? What's that? Oh my god. What's a jelly slice? A jelly slice. What's a jelly slice? A jelly slice is kind of like a biscuit base with a vanilla, like vanilla slice filling, but then jelly on the top. I've had so many in my childhood. And my mum and I used to always go to this cafe and we'll get a jelly slice and a milkshake in a tin oh, thing to share. Two straws. Two straws. What kind of milkshake? I'm salivating. Chocolate, of course. Oh, you're such a chocolate. I'm such a chocolate. <laughs> anyway, if you've heard of jelly slices, please let me know because I feel like everyone that I've mentioned a jelly slice to recently is like, what are you talking well, about? I hate jelly, so. Yeah, I also hate jelly. <laughs> but as a kid, I loved okay, it. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. right. Anyway, let's Too go. many jello shots for me. <laughs> I'm too, too, too many bad memories attached. Oh. Ducky is also realizing how hot Melbourne people are. Oh, I landed in Melbourne three hours ago and I have already seen more hot people than I've seen in the last week. Oh my god, look at this man. Oh my god, wait, why is this happening oh. right now? Oh my god. Oh my that god. That man just like proved our point so well. And that was like perfect timing. Oh my So I'm having a really lovely time here in Melbourne. It has been really nice just to feel the comfort of home. It's been quite an unprecedented, for lack of a better word, uh, couple of years. And just being able to be home and spend time with my friends and family is really, really nice. It's also honestly been like the busiest two years of my life. So it's been good to just slow down the past couple of days. Is this camera moving? Oh my God, it is. <laughs> Some of you may have been following me since I moved from Melbourne to the Gold Coast, which is so wild because next week it will be four years living on the Gold Coast, which just feels like it's been simultaneously the quickest and slowest four years of my entire life. But anyway, the point of this wasn't to tell you all about this. The point of this was actually that I went to Smith & Daly today. They opened a new space. I don't know how recent this is, but they've opened a new space since I last visited and they have so many things. So I got four treats to try. I am so excited to try these. I saved them until I got home so that I could try them on camera and let you know what I think. Knowing Smith and Dally slash Smith and Daughters, they're going to be incredible, but you know, I'll try them for you anyway. It's no worries, you know? Okay, I feel like the first thing I need to try is this croissant because I'm having a moment with croissants lately and this looks like a delicious, crispy croissant. Mm, this is a very delicious vegan croissant. That I am certain of. Okay, whilst it would be nice to just keep eating all of this croissant, I'm going to get into the rest of the sweets. And honestly, the thing I'm most excited for is a violet crumble cookie. Okay, so this is a violet crumble cookie and I'm pretty sure it's like a chocolate cookie with icing and I think there's going to be like vegan honeycomb bits in here. Maybe we'll do like a little cross section moment. Let's see. Oh, it's a soft cookie and I love 
a soft cookie. Oh, <gasps> wait, this texture is amazing. It's kind of like a brownie-like texture. Okay, cheers, let's give this a crack. If you haven't tried this cookie and you have access to Smith & Deli, you need to try this cookie, oh my goodness. This is definitely one of the best cookies I've ever had. Icing on a cookie, genius. Okay, the next thing we are gonna try is, oh, this has gone a little bit soggy, but it's fine. I did buy these like four hours ago at this point. So this is a strawberry cannoli and cannoli is one of my favorite desserts of all time. So hard to find it vegan in Australia. So look, when I saw this, it was an instant, I must try this, I must buy this, you know? So delicious, like strawberry custard filling. Are you joking? Wow, incredible. So we have one more dessert to try and did you think that I would do a taste test without a chocolate cake? Obviously not. This, when I saw it, I was like, I need, I need to try it. I mean, I felt that with all of these things plus more, but I was like limiting myself to just getting four things, but like this. Okay, let's try this cake. The icing once again looks incredible. Wow, this is a whole moment. I'm gonna need to drink so much water after this because I've just had so much sweet food. Look, I wish I had something different and revolutionary to say about this chocolate cake, but once again, it is incredible. Literally everything that I tried is so good. I'm obsessed and I have a lot of dessert to eat over my next two days in Melbourne now, which is also very great. It is Thursday and today I'm with my mum. Are you gonna say anything? That's me! Oh. <laughs> today we are heading to a cafe called Conscious Cravings Co. Which, when I posted on Instagram asking for suggestions of vegan places to eat, this was one of the most highly suggested places to check out. I've heard many good things and we looked up the menu and it looks amazing. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to choose something to eat because it all looks very, very divine. So very excited to check it out and I'll bring you along with me and be sure to uh, yeah, show you the abundance of food we will hopefully be getting. I'm hoping I can convince mom to share three things between us, but I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> So that was definitely some of the best vegan food I've had in a very long time. So yes, we just finished up having brunch at Conscious Cravings Co. I highly recommend. There were so many things on the menu I wanted to order and yeah, we ended up getting a few things and everything was absolutely delicious. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yum. It's the best food I've had since you've been here. That's quite a call. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will definitely be visiting again on my next trip to Melbourne. Absolutely divine. Mm -hmm. 